Well, everyone, it's time for us to talk about some Apple accessories this time around, and this time we get to talk about the original Magic Mouse. Now, this was the wireless mouse that Apple made many, many years ago, back in 2009, and it's approaching 13 years old, it's about 12 years old right now. And although the Magic Mouse 1 looks so familiar to Magic Mouse 2, I would probably recommend picking up the Magic Mouse 2 ultimately, just because you don't have to worry about replacing the batteries or anything like that. However, there is a big advantage of buying a Magic Mouse 1, and that is the removable battery. With the Magic Mouse 2, Apple went ahead and actually put the lightning port at the bottom. I own both of these mouses, and I only use my Magic Mouse 2, but it is kind of annoying that you can't really use the mouse while you're charging the specific device. So that can be kind of annoying, but I do think, you know, for the convenience of not having to have a bunch of batteries laying around or have them charging all the time, I do think it's a little convenient that way. Now, with the Magic Mouse, the original one, in my opinion, these are one of the, you know, products that Apple has made that are just so timeless. You can buy the original Magic Mouse and it's already almost 13 years old this year. I guarantee you even 13 years from now, this device is still going to look so beautiful. I don't know if, you know, the future devices are going to support, you know, the Bluetooth of this device, but I do think for anything that I've ever used these Magic Mouses for, it has gotten the job done tenfold. And it's so interesting to even look at the key keynotes that Apple made and the releasements and whenever Apple did anything with the Magic Mouse, you know, on a live keynote, it just looks so fluid and looks so beautiful that it makes me want to buy one even though I have one. It's so strange how Apple's marketing is. Now on the outside, we have this super premium feeling, you know, device. It's the Magic Mouse. We have this glass placement on top that also supports gestures, which is really cool. You can swipe through things, you can scroll, you can double tap it to, you know, zoom into things. And I like it a lot. You can do multi-finger gestures as well. And this is a very, very cool thing that Apple did. And I do think this is one of my favorite things about this mouse. Personally, I am more of like a magic trackpad type of person. I use a magic trackpad just because I love it. I've been using the same magic trackpad for a couple years now, and I love these trackpads. But when I also use the magic mouse that I use almost every single day as well for a different, you know, Mac, I actually like it too. I mean, there's pros and cons for both. I do notice after a period of time, my wrist starts hurting. I don't know what's going on with it, but typically that's so I kind of use a magic trackpad, but there's pros and cons for both. Now there's nothing on the sides except a place where you can kind of put your fingers in, but on the bottom you do have this, you know, battery removable port, so you can go ahead and remove this, you know, bottom section, and you can replace it for a different battery if you want. I think there may be some accessories where you can charge them in, I, I don't know, but typically these are for those AA batteries, and I think in this day and age, it is a little bit dated. This is, I think, one of the weirder aspects of it. There's not a lot of accessories or devices that come out now that still have AA batteries that are involved in your computer ecosystem system. The only thing I can even remotely think of is like an Xbox One controller or Xbox Series X or S controller. If you don't have the charging, you know, battery inside of it, you can replace those and put AA batteries in it if you want. That's the only thing I can think of. Other than that, pretty much all devices nowadays do have rechargeable batteries inside of them. And I think this is the only thing that I even kind of remotely don't like about this, you know, device anymore. And to be honest, this was the only or one of the only things that Apple could have done to fix it for the Magic Mouse 2 and they ended up doing that. Now all they have to do is move that port to a different spot and then they'll probably have a hit on their hands for sure. Now some of the gestures that you could actually utilize for this specific Magic Mouse is obviously clicking, you can do a two button click, you can do 360 degree scroll, you can screen zoom, you can screen pan, you can do a two finger swipe, you can do a one finger swipe, you can do a two finger double tap, and you can do a one finger double tap as well. I said that's so weird. And like I mentioned, anything I've done with this Magic Mouse has been perfectly fine. You can customize it within the settings and it's very convenient. And I do think it's still supported with the most recent version of, you know, Mac OS as well. I mean, it is a Bluetooth mouse, so there's really not too much that can be, you know, messed up here. It's also supported on iPads and Windows and Linux as well. So you can use this Magic Mouse on a wide array of devices. And to be honest, if you stumbled across a Magic Mouse and you currently own one, I don't think I would necessarily go to a Magic Mouse 2, like, immediately. But if you do find that the replacing the battery is kind of an annoyance, or maybe, you know, the Magic Mouse that you have is a little faulty and there's some problems with it, then maybe it'll make sense to go to a Magic Mouse 2. But I still think the differences between a Magic Mouse 1 and a Magic Mouse 2, there's just not that many differences. I wish there were, but there really isn't, to be honest. I mean, there's a couple things maybe, but nothing that really comes to mind. So I'll definitely tell you guys going to the Magic Mouse 1. I will tell you if you have a Magic Mouse 1, you know, you can keep it. But if you don't have either one of these, I would recommend going to a Magic Mouse 2 in my opinion. So in terms of that, that covers it up there. 
If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.